Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to see about inventory and the Ansible playbooks. So basically, the inventory contains the information about the managed nodes. So I have the inventory file and uh, this contains the managed nodes detail. So I have three managed nodes here, server A, server B and server C. So there are two types of inventory. One is a static inventory and second is dynamic inventory. And uh, next is playbook. So playbook will contain the plays and tasks. We will see in detail in the upcoming videos. So basically the inventory file that have the information about the managed host or the node on which we will be you know performing the automation task. As I said there are two types of inventory static and dynamic. So the static inventory we can you know store manually by the users. So uh, like this is the static inventory we have to use the host name or IP address and uh, the dynamic inventory it will be you know set of Python instructions to define the inventory file and it will be updated dynamically and the default uh, inventory file location will be under etc ansible host so uh, this is the default uh, you know the inventory file location and uh, this is the ansible configuration in the default location and ansible uses uh, three kind of you know format like ini format and yaml format and json so yaml format we can use for the playbook and inventory and json format is the output for the ada commands and the custom facts so let's see the uh, you know inventory file and how we can you know update the inventory file so this is the default location etc ansible host and here you can see some of the examples and this is how we can you know use the inventory file to update the managed nodes information so there will be two uh, groups always exist one will be ungroup and second will be all so the ungrouped will be you know specified uh, before the groups header uh, for example if i have a uh, this inventory file and I have three groups dev test and prod if I want to mention the ungroup then I need to specify about the header of these groups for example server a server C So if I put Ansible ungrouped ping then so no host matched. Okay, so for example, let me edit the inventory. Let me just keep only server A. and uh, server b under test group and c under broad group and if i just enter ansible ungroup dash m the module ping so i'm using the ping okay now we get the server a and uh, ansible all dash m ping so this will ping all the host in the inventory now we see including the ungrouped host which is server a so these two are by default all and ungrouped and uh, the other group that i manually you know mentioned which is 
broad let's say ansible broad so now okay i have entered the group name wrongly okay now we can see that uh, server c has responded similarly if i put uh, like a test then i can get result for only server b okay so as we have seen um let me open the default uh, inventory host file so here uh, we have seen ungrouped host and uh, that has to be about the group headers and uh, second the group you have to specify in this format open bracket and close bracket uh, where you can mention the group name under which you can specify the list of host so in this example we have the web service as the group name and these are all the managed host under this web server group and uh, if we have multiple you know host which you know matching the specific pattern then in that case we can use this example so we can also use the ip address and host name so this is the another example of the group name under which we can update the list of you know the database service and the another example would be like uh, in this format we can use the post uh, here we can also use the nested group for example let me open my inventory file and here i have you know test broad group and i'm creating one more group web service okay and uh, here i need to specify children and then i can specify test broad so this means it is the nested group that contains two of the existing group so if i save it now if i ansible web service ping okay now i see the result of server c and server b which is you know part of the test and broad groups okay so next uh, ansible configuration file so the default the configuration file will exist under etc ansible ansible.cfg this is the ansible configuration file so we can specify this file into different places for example i'm using the ansible.cfg in my current uh, home directory so i have ansible folder under which i have ansible.cfg and inventory file uh, but if I don't have this then by default it will use the default location which is under etc ansible ansible.cfg so there will be a different uh, priority uh, the first priority will be ansible underscore cfg so if I have any environment variable uh, specifying this ansible cfg location then that will be considered as the first priority and uh, second it will check in my present working directory so for example the ansible.cfg exists in my present working directory so in this case it will uh, you know use this ansible.cfg configuration file only it will ignore the default or any other cfg file and uh, next uh, it will check if there is any dot ansible cfg file under the home directory i don't have anything here so there is no hidden file here and uh, then 
the last one will be the default directory under etc ansible so now i am in the present working directory i have this ansible.cfg and inventory file so it will be using my current working directory so let me check the ansible.cfg file so here uh, first we need to use the default section under which i am specifying the remote user so my ansible playbook will use this as the remote user to perform the action on the managed nodes so i need to have this user account you know exist on the managed nodes and i also need to specify the inventory file location which is in my current present working directory and the second section this would be the privilege escalation this will become two means it will work as the root which has the pseudo privilege you can also add uh, you know uh, many like the options that you require for example you can specify the role spot if you are using the roles and if you are using the vault the password file you can specify the the secret uh, file location under this ansible.cfg so that it will pick by default you don't need to specifically mention that since the ansible cfg and uh, inventory in my current location i don't need to specify the inventory location when i run the ansible command but if you have the inventory in somewhere else you need to specify the location for example of uh, ansible all dash i flag and you can specify the location of the inventory file and then you can run the modules so here let me just use this command okay so it has to be ansible inventory and the location of the inventory and wrap so here we can see server a under and group and broad server c test server b this is the nested group and this is all so i can also run ansible ungrouped and then list host since i don't need to specify the uh, location as it is under the current working directory it will pick that inventory file by default and if i put ansible all then it will show all the host server a b and c Okay, so that's it in this video and uh, we will see more about add our commands and uh, playbooks in the next video. Thank you.